the next big thing? He's been a dominant force around the world. He's a future world champion. He's can't miss. He's the main event. He's a lock. 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 I am the lock. I am so close to having this title renamed in my honor. Can you imagine? The Sammy Continental Championship <laughs> has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. All I have to do is defend it tonight, and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change. I have no idea who I'm facing, but it doesn't matter. I am going to beat whoever it is, and you will never, ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Oh, is this finally happening? We've been waiting, and we've been seeing and hearing about this person for weeks. Could it be the long-awaited debut of The Lock? I'm not sure what or who else it could be. Ooh! The Lock has arrived on Raw. Apparently The Lock is Sammy's mystery challenger. Sammy's big ideas about rechristening this title as the Sammy Continental Championship could be changed quickly. We've heard The Lock as a future champion, and we might not have to wait long for that to come true. This superstar has made a name for himself all around the world, and if you ask me, he looks like he fits here in WWE. I agree, he's got the flashy debut, the pyro and all, but now it's time to see if he can deliver in the ring against the veteran competitor in Sami Zayn. Sami might have the experience edge, but he was caught off guard here tonight, so I'd actually give the advantage to the lock. You might have a point, Saxton. Sami Zayn looks like he's hesitant to even go through with this match. He's shook. I don't blame him. Can the lock live up to the hype? We're about to find out. Alrighty, perform a, co perform a combo attack if we can actually get some offense in. Here we go, people. We've got our dude here, Max Storm, here tonight. Here to start off uh, Men's My Rise. Well, it's starting out a little bit differently, but I'm kind of here for it, right? We're, we're trying to get our reversals. We're gotta, we gotta wait for a reversal, am I right? But here we go, we've got Max Storm, also known as The Lock in this case. I like his gear, though. So, basically the approach we're taking this time around is making him like the ultimate bad guy, essentially. Because if you think about it, in the women's My Rise, Christina Bennett was like just a huge baby face and everything like that. But, this go around, we might as well shake some things up. Doesn't hurt to do that, right? from a heavy grapple attack on Sami Zayn from the corner position. And so our dude here, like he's again the total polar opposite, essentially. He's a big powerhouse, uh, just villainous dude, essentially. So he's a pure just villain at this point. Okay. He's a big powerhouse. Oh, big counter right there from Max. I don't know why, I wanted a character named Max, and then I ran through some last names and did a little bit of research. So that was how things were going. Alrighty, Sami Zayn's on the outside of the ring. I had to remember how to do the heavy grapple in the corner. My bad. We're gonna get there. Like I've always said, I'm never like actually good at any of these games. I just have fun with them. Okay, here we go. Oh! Huge elbows right there. Form an opponent taunt. I feel like I did the wrong one, but that's okay. Oh, snap. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, he's gonna go get our dude over here. Yeah, he's just very arrogant and confident and stuff, and I love how our girl was like, 
the complete opposite. I, I wanted it to be the complete opposite of Christina Bennett, so that's what we were going for over here. Okay, hang on here. We're gonna figure this out. Okay, there we go. That's the opponent taunt. I get I get everything mixed up. Lock Sammy down with your finisher. He's got a kind of cool finisher too. I'm excited for y'all to see it, and I'm hoping that it's the right one because. Well, they've changed her attire and everything. I really should have made him more of a submission specialist dude, but I'm like, you know what? Like, we'll make anything work, right? Right. Oh! There we go. I think this is it. There it is! I think it's called Landslide in the moveset, so... In case y'all are looking for it. The Lock has indeed lived up to the hype by winning the Intercontinental Championship in his WWE debut. What an unbelievable night right here on Raw. Not many superstars can say they've captured championship gold in their first night on the job. We heard so much about the superstar, how he was the next big thing, a future gold champion. And so far, I have every reason to believe those are true statements. I'm just glad that we won't have to see the Sammy Continental Championship. Well, that explains how Sammy got back over to SmackDown, right? Right? Hold up, Sammy Zayn from behind. Apparently, this isn't over. Lock ducks and he nails him. Sammy goes head first to the side of the safe. Oh my god. I think the lock is going to lock up Sammy. Yes, do it! And now Sammy goes to SmackDown. <laughs> That's how he got written off. Now what? He's going to send Sammy for a ride. Oh my god. What is happening? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Once again, your new Intercontinental Champion, The Lock. Oh my god. What did we just watch? What a debut. I love how this is already quite literally the polar opposite of the women's My Rise with their disastrous debut. <laughs> Keep it going. I like seeing all this opposite stuff happening all at once. Plus, I mean, hey, we get the background as to how Sami Zayn ended up on Friday Night SmackDown because we had a, some storylines with Sami over on SmackDown. So, there you go, people. Five hours earlier. There he is. Ready for your big Raw debut tonight? Yeah, can't wait to get out there. Good, we can't wait either. This has been a long time coming and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Yeah. Oh, talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Kat, right? Yep. Cat with a K, K-A-T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on the wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of cat over the next year. Gotta document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion, The Lock. Whoop, whoop. Sorry, fly on the wall. <laughs> I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole The Lock thing, by the way. I, can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah, but that's not how the WWE Universe knows you. We can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this. Thank you, Sean. I think a lot of people have. Isn't that how WWE found me? Look, this is typical for superstars who come up outside the system. WWE likes to put their spin on things and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. Okay, but doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? It sort of does. <laughs> Do you mind? Think of this as a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. You just need to trust the process. Is that what you're required to say now that you're office? No. <laughs> Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you, but it's not just a nickname. 
The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with pyro, a championship opportunity, new gear. <laughs> They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you too. Get it? A lock? <laughs> is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but things worked out okay for him, didn't they? Guess so. I gotta run. But I promise, this is gonna be fine. Just trust the process, and it'll all work out. Because remember, you're the lock. We good here, or...? <laughs> yep, got what I needed. That's a cut. <laughs> week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey! I didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn to camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for 10 years. I think whoever's watching will know who I am. I don't know who you are. Won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time US champion, two-time intercontinental champ, multi-time tag champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah. It's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up through the Performance Center. Or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay. Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. <laughs> well, I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Locke. Call me champ. Okay, champ. That was a good dry run. Now, let's do another take without the interruption from the Raw Welcoming Committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. I'm too friendly. I think we got it. I need to go get changed. He's a lock. All right, story completed. Men's the lock gear. Well, that's fantastic. Okay, so we got Sami Zayn, we got Corey Klein. It looks like we got a lot of the same stuff. Oh, hey, Fanny. Gabriel Slade. Oh, boy. We haven't even gotten a chance to really talk about our dude all that much. Uh, we have 208 points to kind of utilize here. Uh, he's got to have, you know, some good grappling and good striking, I think. And then some good submission. He's more of a powerhouse, so I feel like that could be pretty, you know, I think that's pretty pretty well-rounded. Why is it blinking? Okay, that that's new. All right, got our upgrade points all taken care of. He's at 86 overall. Uh, let's go check, let's take a look at the social media and see what happens there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, in my WWE... TV debut, I lost my name, my gimmick, my entrance, my entrance song, my finisher, and my WWE Cruiserweight Championship all in one night. If I survive that, real Max Storm will be just fine. Glad I didn't go to WWE and have to come out and out of a safe like The Lock. Think I'll continue to dominate social media and wrestling everywhere else in the world instead. Oh, shut up, Chosen. As VP of Talent Development, I'm told I'm supposed to be impartial, but The Lock is the real deal. Proud of The Lock. Knew we had it in them. Wait, Tavish? As of the Tavish from Last My Rise? Someone went digging through the WWE archives and found my old chain. <laughs> I thought stealing Legends gimmicks was my thing. I thought that was a few other people's things, Kevin Owens. No one in WWE is safe from the lock. Sorry, Sami Zayn couldn't resist. The lock secured the Intercontinental Championship in his huge debut. After that IC title win over Sami Zayn, might have changed my handle to Lock for Life. I've watched the lock compete all over the world. Can't believe he's in WWE now. Oh, that's great. Any DMs over here? Intercontinental Champ. Not sure about all that lock bollocks, but can't argue with the results. Thanks, Tavish. I don't know about it either, but maybe it's just temporary. Proud of you. Wasn't that long ago you were sleeping on my couch in between working shows here for 10 quid? You've come a long way. 
Wait, so there's a through line through both the My Rises through Tavish, right? Am I following this right? And Stupid Chosen? <laughs> Told you everything would work out if you trusted the process. Definitely heavy results, but not still completely sold on all the lock stuff. What if I at least get to go out for my own entrance for now? That's fine. There's some legal stuff going down about the safe entrance anyway. I'm sure you'll hear more about it soon. Not sure if anyone else in the- Yeah, we noticed. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got all these stories that we gotta, like, you know, tackle, right? So we got the first one settled. Better safe than sorry! I can't! Two a days. Finishing schooled in Drew's rules. Uh, we have all these other ones here as well. Making headlines. So, from what it looks like, we have a feud with Sammy. Better safe than sorry. Know your role. So I'm guessing that's sort of something that we might navigate, like our character and stuff? Am I following this right? I don't know. I haven't taken a look at anything involving this storyline or anything like that. Uh, and faction forming. I know this is the one with the factions, and that's pretty much all I know about it. But uh, welcome to Men's My Rise. I'm Christina, aka that Ryan Nerd, and today we're kicking things off with our dude, Max Storm, also known, I guess now known as The Lock, if you will. But... Uh, pretty much, he's, uh, he's the antithesis. He's the polar opposite of Christina Bennett. So he just beats people up and destroys people. He's well-traveled, had a lot of experience and all that stuff before going to WWE. And he's kind of a bad guy. So I think that's more than reasonable. That was the goal in mind going into Men's My Rise Creep, the complete opposite of Christina Bennett. Because I feel like, you know what? Why not have one side be the good side and the other side be the good side? You know, because I figured, why not have just one with the good guys and one with the bad guys, right? I feel like that's kind of reasonable. But we've got all these different little stories here. What's Gabriel doing over here? Like, he doesn't have a little story next to him or anything. Is he's just chilling over here? But I think our first story, our first little arc, uh, we're already going into side story territory already. Um, but let's take a look and see what Fanny has to say. Want to join my book club? I tried to recruit Robert Rude, but he said the only part of a book he likes is the ending. Or, as he called it, the book's finishing move. He said he's got the best ending in WWE, but I thought maybe you could take him on and show him yours? I mean, sure. Alright, so we never really got to showcase the entrance or anything like that, but since we already have a championship, I guess it's not going to matter all that much now. Oh great, we're still stuck with the goofy costume. <laughs> the following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida. Weighing in at 242 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, Max Storm. Yeah, I love how the lock is just a nickname. So it's like the lock Max Storm. I mean, he's even, like, the polar opposite geographically. Christina Bennett's from Ohio, and this guy's from Florida. <laughs> you know, got, gotta make him look a little seasoned, right? But look at that. Man, what a polar opposite start. Let me tell you, I don't think you get polar opposites to winning a title on your first night versus, well... What happened in the last My Rise, right? But that's the entrance, and so we have to win in a finisher match. I hate how we're already in the side story territory, but I mean, here we are, right? Right. I mean, the gear ain't that bad. Like, I mean, I'm fine with it being a nickname, but I don't want it to be like our entire identity. And, and the Storm thing is not to be related, uh, there's no relation to Lance Storm or Tony Storm. No relation at all. I just thought it sounded good. Because I needed the last name. And this worked, so. Oh, nice move right there from Rude. But yeah, it seemed like y'all seemed to like around, you know, 35. Actually, no, I would say even like, I feel like the longer episodes did much better. So we're going to aim for 40 to 45 minutes an episode. Um, I think that's reasonable. But if we have to go a little longer to finish a story, then that's fine, too. Because y'all seem to enjoy the longer episodes. I was pleasantly surprised, just based on what we were seeing in the analytics and that sort of thing. Because I pay attention to that mess. I do. 
not not like you know I don't you know glaze over in every five minutes, but I pay attention because you know I want to see how long you know the, to make the videos and all that good stuff. So I think 40 to 45 minutes an episode is going to be fine. I don't know if we're going to do the daily uploads again, but this is pretty much our main series for April. Because, I mean, the last My Rise was about 18 episodes, which I think is reasonable. Um, I don't know when we'll be starting this, so I can't give you an exact timeline or anything like that. So, I'm just giving you all a heads up. That's the beauty of this thing, right? Like, we're just destroying this dude. Oh. I love how we refer to Robert Root as this dude. God. What a mess, right? Don't worry, we know who all these people are. I just have fun with these, like, little story modes and stuff like that. Plus, I wanted to see what we could do. Like, I wanted to take a look at the men's buy rise first before we did anything else with Christina Bennett. Oh, no. Because apparently these two timelines run concurrent with each other. Oh no. But I could be entirely wrong. Oh snap! He. Well. There goes the kendo stick, am I right? Oh god, I thought they were gonna, like, hit the German right on that piece of kendo stick there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alrighty, here's our finisher. Bam! We did it, people. Here is your winner, Max Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I guess we're good guy right now? I don't want us to be a good guy right away. Yep, we're a good guy right away. Does this look like a dude that screams good guy to you? I mean, for real, though. Like, we're going heal as soon as we can, okay? That's just how the cookie's gonna crumble. Alright, finishing school completed. Okay, we have Corey Klein. Adam Pierce. Okay, well, Gabriel just disappeared. But okay, that's cool, too. Nice, that reminded me of the end of the, the Count of Monte Cristo. Ever read it? I know a great group to discuss it with. So far, just me. But if you join the membership, we'll double. Think about it, okay? Oh my god. Oh, Fanny. You're wholesome. Okay, let's go talk with Corey Klein next. Happy Corbin has been mouthing off about his football career more than usual lately. Saying the WWE grind is the same as nonstop two a days, which is why he's so well equipped. <sighs> Give me a break. Take him on after a workout, showing you can compete after a two a day of your own. Tackle Happy Corbin's offside attitude in a post workout match. A what? Oh, God. Oh. I guess we're at the Performance Center? Oh, boy. Wait, why are we all yellow? Oh, I guess it's a two a day thing. Okay, well, that makes sense. Maybe we had a practice match. Beautiful counter. Beautiful counter. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I pressed the button! No! Oh no. Alright, let's kick out. There we go. One count right there for Max Storm slash the lock. Hey, at least LJ was just a nickname. I'm wondering if the lock is a nickname, too. Oh boy, that's gonna be our new spam move, isn't it? There we go. Okay, we got enough for a signature. Let's do it. Let's take care of Corbin real fast. Or not. I jinxed it. I'm sorry! I jinxed it! Oh, no. I gotta say, I like his workout outfit, for sure. 
I mean, I like Corbin's too, but I like our dudes more, and I think it's because I like the green. Oh boy. Oh, jeez. Beautiful splash right there. I didn't work nearly as meticulously on the move set or anything like that. I was more meticulously, like, focused on the gear and stuff like that. The entrances, they need to fix those things, like, ASAP if they can. Because it's like, especially with the title entrances, it's like, oh my god, okay. Can we please have, like, normal entrances? Like, can we have more variety in there? And not be locked into just the champion's entrances, like the special ones and stuff, like we just saw. But either way, let's keep things moving along. Alright, two days is completed. Saw Happy Corbin looking a little less happy and a little more disgruntled after his loss to you. Thanks! Okay, we got ten points, so let's go to Ariel and Running. And let's go have a chit-chat with Adam Pierce over here. Welcome to Raw. Gotta say, I've been a fan of your work for a while. Can't say the same for Drew Gulak, though. I heard him mention your name in a rant about superstars who lack fundamentals. Fundamentals according to who, Drew? But if you ever want to put in a little extra super-specific training before a show, you know who to ask. Out-fundamental Drew in the ring. Perfect. Oh, I guess we're in an empty arena. Knock Drew around with a light combo. Perfect. Perfect. We got a reversal in. I had to shut up for a second so I could concentrate. Duck one of Drew's attacks. Too bad that doesn't count as a... Too bad those don't count as dodges, but... Here we are. But hey, fundamentals are key, right? Oh, perfect. <laughs> I guess that counted. Attempt to win the match. Perfect. Let's go. I get I just want our dude to go in there and destroy everybody. I think that's reasonable, right? Right? That, that's his whole thing. He just, like, literally destroyed everybody on the independent circuit. I think that's more than fair. But I think it's really interesting, because the bad guy's the one that paid their dues on the independent scene, and then the one other story's like, Hi, my first ever televised match is on, you know, is on Survivor Series because of my famous aunt. <laughs> and yet she's the good guy, and well, I mean, so far our dude's technically a good guy, but I just... It's not who he is. We can keep the lock. I'm fine with the lock being like our little nickname or whatever, but he's a bad guy. There's no other way around it. Like, some people are just born and destined to be more of a bad guy than a good guy. That's our dude to a T right here. There we go. Keep going. stomping away. But I think this is our last little story for this episode, and then that way next time we could just dive right into the action, so I think that's a- I, we've sort of gotten to a gr into a bit of a groove with these My Rise stories, so there is that. Perfect. Beautiful German right there. I know a lot of Superstars probably have this as, like, you know, a default move, but shh. I like that move. Oh, come on, he freaking countered our finisher? Well, at least there's no one here to see that, right? Or me completely whiff a freaking reversal. Oh, I didn't whiff that one, though. See, we're getting better at these, slowly but surely. It's all about the timing. Beautiful. Into the cover. Come on. One, two, that's three. Well, hey, we won the match, right? <laughs> Alrighty, let's wrap things up here, people. Alright, Drew's rules completed. 
Oh, we got more side stories? Jesus, I thought we were done for an episode. Nine lives, okay. Good lord. You're sir <laughs> I can't with you, Gulag, I can't. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright. Do we want to keep going? Well, I mean, we're like maybe 30 minutes or less. We could probably squeeze in one more match, right? Right? I think so. I just interviewed Ludwig Kaiser, who said WWE matches aren't enough of a test. So he's now proposing a five out of nine falls match. Oh, Manager dear God. Manager hates the idea and would love it if someone could take him out in a two out of three falls match to shut him up. Interested? Force Ludwig Kaiser to say Alvinazian to his ideas. Oh, God. Fun fact, I actually took a little bit of German in college, so... That means goodbye to the idea. All right, so we got Ludwig Kaiser in a two out of three falls match. I think we got this, y'all. But I mean, hey, we've got a pretty stacked first little episode here. Plenty of matches. I mean, we've got, what, like four or five matches plus some cool entrances. I think we've had a really stacked first episode. I'm excited to get to know more about, you know, I, I wonder how his connection is to Chosen. I want to know more about this Gabriel Slade person. You know, I want to know more about all of his backstory. I think that's reasonable, right? Plus, I want to see how this lines up with the timeline in, uh, with the women's My Rise. Because so far, it looks like we figured out how Sami Zayn might have gotten the jump over to SmackDown. But we also have another, like, storyline with Sami as well coming up. <sighs> but that's okay. We got a lot of these little side missions done, and we got the main story, you know, kickstarted already, which is fantastic. Oh boy. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, nice drop kick right there from Ludwig. Oh, nice counter. Nice punch right there. See, I don't hate the gear. I really don't. I just don't think it necessarily fits our guy, you know what I mean? Like the nickname The Lock? Well, I mean, he kind of keeps everything under lock and key inside the ring, if you really think about it. He just goes in there and just destroys people. That's the energy that we're here for, right? Beautiful maneuver right there. Into the cover. Into the cover. Oh! This is in front of a crowd, too. I just, I hope we get to turn into a bad guy soon. I really hope so. Our dude ain't cut out to be a good guy. See, he doesn't even do anything outside the ring. He doesn't have the springboards or anything like that. He just goes in there and beats people up. And that's like his whole thing. You know, the referee's like, all right, buddy, just get back inside the ring here. Oh, boy. Oh! Nice move from Ludwig right there. Into the cover, into the cover. Not even a one count. I know that I said that we were going to, like, only do the one, I think, but I'm like, you know what? All is well. All is right in the world. You know, we got to start out, you know, on a strong note. We got a lot of these matches and side missions tackled. So I consider that to be a big win for us here in the first episode. And it sets the tone, I think. Okay, first one is completed. All right, we got two finishers, so we could probably figure this out, right? Oh, no. Oh, he countered. Oh, he countered our finisher, but the people don't know that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just, again, this this is going to be a fun one. I can sense it. I'm, I'm not looking forward to the faction, like, the faction feud and stuff like that, but that's just because I'm in the camp of, like, not everybody needs to be in a faction. But, I mean, hey, it could work for him. So we'll have to see. Got a one count for our dude there. But I don't know, I'm liking this character so far. He just looks like a giant jerk face. Oh, there goes the Snapmare takedown of Doom again. Love that. Oh! I just want to finish this match, Ludwig. I just want to finish this match. 
Can you imagine if that ever happened? Wait, how would that... Yeah, no, that makes sense. I take that back. I'm like, how would that numerically make sense? Five out of nine falls. Because you could go, like, five to four. Okay, that makes sense. But even then, like, that means you have to lose, like, what, four or five times. Oh my god, why are we struggling now? Oh, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Alright, we got a two count right there. At least it's a two out of three falls match, so you can justify it a little bit. But imagine our first loss being to Ludwig Kaiser after having such a strong start. Maybe we do need a faction. Well, hey, our signature keeps connecting, and that's what counts, right? So maybe that's the direction we just need to keep going. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, look at how sweaty our dude is. Oh my god, you can like literally see the sweat. Oh boy. I'm so ready for this dude to just like start attacking people from behind and stuff. It's gonna be great. Oh my goodness. Well, I didn't expect us to get this far ahead in the first episode, but you know what? We got a lot accomplished. We really did. And there we go, people. Nine lives. Get it? Nine? Nine lives? So that gets us what? Oh my god. Okay, so we have a... F okay, so we officially have four out of 13 stories completed. We gotta go to the next one. Better safe than sorry. So this could get interesting. Uh, let's take a look at the social medias. You cannot stop progress. My plans to change weak American wrestling will be fulfilled. Oh my god. Reports are that WWE Brass is very pleased. Ludwig, on the other hand. Well, that's his problem, I guess. Alright, we got seven points, so we can't really upgrade anything. But in the next episode, we will be... Talking to Sami Zayn. I swear, Sami's like a common thread in both- He's like the through line. He's the through line in my rise, I swear. Him and Chosen, I think. And, and freaking uh, Tavish, from what it sounds like, right? So, I don't know. Maybe- I, I want to see more of these characters just reoccur at this point. But we've already got some through lines established between the my rises so far. But overall, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with our dude Max Storm as we head more into this men's my rise stuff. So on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff here on the channel. I don't know how many episodes I'm going to film today or how, we're, or how long or how many episodes we're going to upload. You know, I don't know any of that. I don't know if we're going to do daily uploads or what. That's be determined once we get started with the filming and all that good stuff and yeah so again thank you all so much for the love and support for the first my rise series and i hope that you all stick around for this one it's gonna be a fun one i, I have a feeling uh, but either way around thank you all so much for tuning in and i will see you all in the next one